Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Ife Pelosa and in this video I'm in Las Vegas and I'm actually staying right on the strip and I'm going to be showing you all some cool things to do uh, in the area. Although I'm not going to be out for too long just because I have work tomorrow morning. I am here on a work trip so I have to make sure I wake up early tomorrow so I can't you know, party too hard or do anything too crazy. But I definitely wanted to take you all on a journey with me here in Vegas. So I am just now leaving my hotel room and I'm gonna go to the lobby and check out the casino there. Um, be there very briefly, maybe come back to it later. But I definitely wanna check out the Excalibur and MGM because those are huge um, hotels slash casinos and they're fantastic because there's just a lot to see there. So that's our first two destinations um, right after we leave the lobby. So I got to Vegas earlier today and surprisingly it's very cold here. It's actually colder here than it is in New York City for some reason. That is a mystery to me because I'm in the middle of the desert, but it is what it is. And actually the outfit that I brought with me to Vegas is kind of like, it's a, it's a dress, but it's very short and I thought it'd be warmer than it is. Um, so I'm just wearing like three layers of stockings to keep me warm, but ah, we'll see what happens. This is the casino at my hotel. Um, it's actually kind of a decent size, but again, this is not the destination that I'm trying to go to. I'm trying to check out MGM and Excalibur. So that's my hotel, the Tropicana, here in Las Vegas, and it's a part of the Double Tree Hilton branch. Um, and I'm on the fifth floor. So there's MGM right over there, um, and I'll be going there right after Excalibur. So there's actually a little piece of Manhattan here in Las Vegas and it's in the form of New York Airport, which is a casino slash hotel here. There's a, there's a cop that going by, but this is supposed to be like a mock-up of Manhattan. So it's called New York, New York and it's just very cute because you got like a little Statue of Liberty there. It looks like a bunch of skylines and it's uh, as close to New York City as you're going to get here in Las Vegas going in there because I'm actually from New York so I don't really need to go to some hotel slash casino that's like New York City because I'm already a part of the real thing. So right now we're headed to Excalibur which is this cute castle themed hotel slash resort slash casino. I don't know what you call it but it's it's an all-inclusive vacation of itself so it's really cute and I can't wait to get all in with me. I'm on my way to the castle everyone. I feel just like Princess Peach. So there's the Excalibur and I'm about to head into my castle because I feel like a princess right now so why not? So let me go into Excalibur maybe we'll play a couple casino games and get a drink or two. So I'm currently in Excalibur and I'm just like already like worn out just because the wind is so strong and it's blowing my hair everywhere and I just feel like oh, I can't be beautiful with the wind blowing my hair all over the place and I feel like I forgot my brush and I brought this to go back but no brush inside and it's like ugh. Oh. But I'm inside now so let's look at the slot machines and see what's popping in. Why did I say that? So this is what my outfit looks like. I'm wearing this red dress with this black fur-like coat. And then I have my big purse right here with, you know, the essentials, everything but a brush though. So there's that. Classic casino. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a $10 bill in here and give this one a shot. So I told myself I wasn't a gamble, but I'm in Vegas. I mean, you kind of have to gamble. So I put some money into this machine here and I'm gonna press this knob right here. Is that how that works? I'm not quite sure how this works. There's a bunch of buttons here. So I'm going to select one of these buttons here. And then repeat that. Oh, oh I want something! What do I win? What do I win? What do I win? Oh, yes! I put in $10 earlier, now I have $10.67. I'm feeling lucky. I, mean, I put a $10 bill in a slot machine that was like for change, like pennies and nickels. Um, and so I, you know, got a voucher and I've got $10 on here, so my cash is gone and it's in the form of this voucher. Um, and so now I'm like, what do I do? Should I cash this in or should I keep playing? So I found this other game that looks cute, so I'll play this too, but yeah. Gambling is just not my thing. 
But let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of gambling? Do you enjoy it? What do I press? What do I press? I want to press this one. This is like the lowest amount. What's happening? Oh my god. I'm like winning money. Do you see this? Oh my god. So when I put this voucher in there before, it had like $10.50. And now I have $26.29. I'm like so lucky. This is totally my mood right now. Although I like to think that gentlemen prefer brunettes. So I just left Excalibur and I started my night there with $10 and it ended it with $26. So I made $16 um, gambling, which wasn't in my intention at all, but I thought it'd be great. I thought, hey, let me just have a quick snapshot of me playing a game here for my YouTube channel for you guys to see. And I ended up making money and then I decided to play a little bit more and I made more and well, it kind of fluctuates a bit, but um, yeah, I'm really not here to gamble. I'm here to, to work and and make a YouTube video like like I am now. Um, and I definitely wanted to say one thing um, that I really feel strongly about, and it's that I feel like cross-dressing in public takes a lot of courage. It really does because not everyone is gonna be open to how you decide to express yourself or your gender. And um, you know, people are gonna look at you funny and people might say something. I haven't had that happen to me yet today, um, though it has happened to me in the past. And you know, walking around here in Vegas, I feel very safe, I feel very comfortable. I don't think anyone's worried about what I'm doing, although I do feel a little self-conscious. I feel self-conscious because the outfit that I chose to wear, in my mind, I thought, I'm gonna look very classy, you know, very ladylike, but honestly, I feel like I look like a, a high-class escort, you know, I feel like a hussy. <laughs> I don't know how people see me or how they, you know, are perceiving me, but I feel like they are because people are looking at me and it's like, mm, I don't know. Maybe they, they, they don't care and it's just all in my head, who knows, but cross-dressing in public really does take a lot of courage. So kudos to those of you who like to cross-dress and do it in public because it takes a lot of courage. And for those of you who are considering it, keep in mind that you have to have the confidence that is key. You can't be worried about what other people think. You gotta go out there and just do it. Like I'm doing it here in Vegas. Although, do, do take into consideration safety and the general attitude of the people in, in your area. Because I know that like in the East Coast of New York City and say Chicago and in the West Coast like, you know, Los Angeles, it's a lot more liberal. People are a lot more open-minded. So keep that in mind as well, just because, I don't know, depending on where you are in the States, you know, people aren't gonna be very receptive to it, but here in Vegas, I definitely feel comfortable, I feel safe, and I feel like an escort right now with this outfit that I chose to wear, so. Anyways, time to go to MGM, that's like the next destination. We'll be there for a little bit, maybe I'll play a game, I might get a drink, and then I'm gonna go back to the Tropicana in my hotel, and I think I'll call it a night. I hope we do better soon. Say Vegas is so bright that it's doing wonders for me right now in this video just because like this lighting suits me so well I mean really if you're gonna come to Vegas and take selfies you're in the right place because you're gonna look great speaking of selfies look at this like candy bar with Hershey Kiss over here that's totally me right now doing a selfie let's get closer there you see her isn't she adorable all right so we're on to MGM but Maybe a quick little detour because it's just so bright over here on this part of the strip and it looks so good I feel like in this lighting so I just wanted to, you know, go around and be pretty. Okay, quick detour, we're gonna go to the Coca-Cola store. So here's my outfit, you wanna see it again? Red and black. There's the heels. Thoughts. So I'm basically at MGM now, and it's just another casino. It's huge, it's very 
very flashy. And there are a lot of shows happening right now, but tickets are kind of expensive. And again, I'm here for work, not for the shows. Although, if I ever come back to Vegas, I'll definitely have to save some money to see some of these great performers performing. A lot of artists take residencies here. Maybe one day I will too. I'll be a big burlesque star. Who knows? It's actually quite lively here right now, and it's a Tuesday night, although Vegas is a city that never sleeps much like New York City. I'm back just for the time, and I actually realized that I should get back to my hotel just because I do work tomorrow morning, and I've got a lot to do. <sighs> but it's just fun, and maybe I'll check out the, the bar at my hotel instead. Do a quick night camp there. So I'm back in my hotel room and I am just exhausted. It's been a long day for me because I actually just flew into Vegas today and then I had to go straight to work and then walking around in heels. Oh, it's just so exhausting. But thank you all so much for watching my video. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Let me know what you thought about my video in the comment section down below. What are your opinions on gambling? And have you ever been to Vegas before? <sighs> Let me know in the comment section down below again. As always, I'm Ifiolosa and I'm about to pass out. <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time. I am so tired. I am ready to collapse in this hotel bed. Although I have the hardest time falling asleep in hotel rooms just because, I don't know, it's just an unfamiliar place for me and the beds are always stiff and the pillows are always too soft, but we'll make it work.